Jonah's situation was hopeless, but God saved. And sin puts all of us in a hopeless situation, but Jesus saves. Isn't that good news? Can we thank God for his saving grace that despite what we do, he still saves? Let's quickly look at 2 Timothy 1 and 9, and it says, talking about God who saved us and called us to a holy calling, not because of our works, but because of his own purpose and grace, which he gave us in Christ Jesus before the ages begin. Jonah could literally do nothing to get himself out of that situation, but he surrendered and he turned to God. And some of us might feel like it's over. We might feel like we're in a tight situation. We might feel like all odds are against us, but the anchor of grace is always there. There's no storm, there's no wave, there's no depression, there's no addiction, there's no suffering, there's nothing that can move the anchor of grace because our anchor is founded upon Jesus Christ, our rock, our salvation. He's the King of kings and he's the Lord of lords. And if you don't know him as your personal Lord and Savior, I pray that today you will surrender. He is our Savior. He gives peace like nobody else. He gives joy like nobody else. And if you can surrender your life and your heart to him, his grace will reach you where you are. Will you surrender? Will you repent? Just like Jonah, he knows that this grace is there. So he responds by being prayerful, by being hopeful, and by being thankful. And I want to encourage you this morning, whatever you're going through, His grace is there.